The Senate Committee on Health is this week touring several counties in the Rift Valley to assess the state of health care. The visit comes amid concerns that counties have mismanaged the health docket. Let's now link up with uh, John Wanyama, who is, in, who is live in Eldred. John Wanyama, good morning. Nah, yeah, it's morning. Uh, so what can you tell us in as far as this visit is concerned? A few months ago, we saw the Health Committee of the National Assembly visiting Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital and, and saying that uh, they were doing quite a good job in as far as managing referral facilities and the referral services. Which uh, facilities are they visiting? What should you expect? Good morning, Sam. And uh, they are all here ready to start the journey of visiting several facilities in Wasingesho County, not only Wasingesho, but they are also going all the way to Elgeo Marakwet and Nandi counties to just to have, to have a look on what is happening in those county facilities, whether they have enough drugs, whether the machines the government gave them maybe some few years ago, whether they are working. You saw the Senate uh, last week when they are questioning uh, the, those uh, health uh, officials who are whether they, those equipment they had supplied or given the counties, why were they not really working and why were they really paying for those equipments on monthly, subs uh, yearly subscription of 200 million. But they are here. Let me talk to them. We, they are led by Wasingeshu Senator Professor Kamar. Uh, Professor, why are you in Wasingeshu? Why this visit maybe to, to these facilities? Last time we saw more teaching referral were doing fairly well, but why are you going to the grassroots? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. I, we have a team of, uh, from the Committee of Senate, the, Sen the Health Committee of Senate, and we are going to go around three facilities today. We are going to visit Ziwa, Moibane, and Kesey's uh, health facilities. Um, the first one, which is Ziwa, is a very important one for us. And, um, and the reason is that in the year 2003, when uh, Moi Teaching and Revival had been, was... Uh, taken over because it was a district hospital the government promised to facilitate the district with a new district hospital and Ziwa was named uh, that we have in our answered reports and we are supposed to have received a district hospital out of uh, out of Ziwa, Ziwa health center to date 2019 we still have a struggling in Ziwa and uh, this committee has come to actually do a fact-finding mission to see exactly what the national government put in to ensure that um, the district hospital was up and running. Because what is expected today is that most of the district hospitals should be at level 5. Wasingishu doesn't have level 5. We know that uh, the county government should also play a role. So as a committee of Senate that takes care of the interest of uh, the counties, it, just, it became important that, um, that they come in and I invited them to come and actually check that. The other two facilities are facilities that have uh, challenges here and there. I've we have received um, a petition from Moibane, we have received a memorandum from Kesis. So we are answering to the call of the people that there are challenges in the facilities that have been built. Cancer is an issue, Senator. Maybe there were those equipments given to county governments by the national government. Maybe are you going also to check on this, whether they are working? Cuban doctors who came in this country, have they done or have they brought any impact to our facilities? That is part of the inquiry that we are going to make today because um, the national government had, uh, in response to the question that, was, that I raised in the House, which was transmitted by the Committee of Health and the Chair is here, uh, they inquired from the ministry what, has, what was actually done to Ziwa, and it was uh, the minister responded by saying that the equipment that have been put in Ziwa. Uh, so some of the things we are going to look at those ones. Um, we know that the Cuban doctor, one of the Cuban doctors was sent to Ziwa. Uh, we want to know also whether they are, they, are, they are being used to capacity because if the equipment are there, we hear some of the equipment may, they no, may not be operational right now. Okay. So those are some of the questions that uh, the committee is... Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Sam, as you have heard from the Senator, I'm being told by one ma man, Mathangani, that we don't really have time. But uh, Mathangani, can you, if you can give me one minute for the chair of the committee, one, one second, because they don't have say, the time. What is the, the state of health in this nation so far? In one second. Uh, as you know, we're going towards uh, universal health care and uh, all efforts, all guns are being trained upon uh, ensuring that we achieve this very, very important milestone. I think we are on track. 
and uh, all of us are uh, determined to ensure that we we, we achieve this milestone. Okay. So we are here in Osingishu at the invitation of uh, Senator Kamar to look at the facilities here in Wasingishu and that will also inform us on how prepared we are for this uh, UHC. Okay. Thank you. We will have more time to talk to you, the rest of you, in our other subsequent bulletin. But as some, as you have heard from senators and leaders here, they are saying they are going to ensure or to see whether these facilities are, for, are working. There are so many questions that are really were raised by residents, especially in Wasim Gishu County, and they are saying they are going to look at them and address where possible. And we are also accompanying them where they are going so that also we can, have, we can witness whether they are raising is really valid and maybe we will be knowing from them what a kind of the solution they are going to have to ensure facilities which is a basic need according to the constitution to Kenyans whether they will be maybe solving or finding solution for Kenyans to, to be or to be to get that good health and treatment back to you sir all right thank you so much John Onyama from Eldred